With the new movie 42 premiering in Kansas City last night, a lot of people have baseball and sports on the brain. Well, this weekend, a sports memorabilia expert in, is in Kansas City, and he's showcasing some of his most exciting merchandise, including Jackie Robinson items. Go figure. We want to welcome Steve Berkman, the owner of Clean Sweep Auctions, to the show. So, what's the current market like when it comes to vintage sports memorabilia? It's, in many ways, it's never been better. Really, really high quality materials selling for prices they've never brought. There's demand all throughout the country, even internationally, but it's got to be for really good stuff. If it's something that's not really good, People aren't that interested. Now, you're here in town for the All Sport Road Show. So tell me a little bit about what's going on there this weekend. It's like Antiques Road Show, except it's interactive. We provide free appraisals. There's no cost. There's no admission or anything like that. There's no catch. But the difference is if you decide you want to sell the item or put it in an auction, we can take care of that for you right on the spot. Great. What did you bring us today? Give me some examples of what perhaps people could bring into the shows, like maybe this lovely... Jackie Robinson baseball yeah, it's, card? Yeah, it's a Jackie Robinson rookie card from 1948. That's a very scarce card and, of course, very, very popular and timely right now, especially this week in Kansas City. Yes. So a very, very popular piece. Anything of Jackie Robinson, always very popular autographs, memorabilia, cards. And well, th that one's very special, the one you have the there. The Mickey Mantle? Yeah, that's not only is that Mickey Mantle's rookie card, the most cherished card of the last 60 years, but it's actually autographed by Mickey Mantle. That's pr there's probably only about 20 of those in existence that are wow. signed by him. That is really rare. What's this check I see? I see, I spy a check. Oh, it's a very, very interesting check. It's a check made out to Satchel Ooh. Page by a prominent sports writer in the 1970s. Satchel Page may not have even had a bank account, so checks from him or to him are extremely rare, and this is from 1972. It's the only one we've ever seen. Hmm. Now, what are some more of the weirder or more interesting items that people have brought into the roadshow over the years? Oh, we've seen all kinds of crazy things. People were bringing the bobbin heads. People were bringing the beer cans. They sold the souvenirs in the 70s. <laughs> uh, people were bringing the, the different Green Bay Packers alcohol thing, the Jim Beam things from 1969. You know, people bring in custom-made dolls, people bring in folk art, all sorts, of, all sorts of things. And this is kind of your claim to fame right here because this football is kind of the piece de resistance, right? Well, for the for Chiefs fans, surely. This is a Super Bowl from the 1969-70 Chiefs Super Bowl team. It's an official Spalding American foot, AF, AFL football model. Which Look, is, and it has all the it. names on it, too. Yeah, that's, that's, that's very desirable. It's not rare, but it's always very popular. And actually, the Chiefs are collected nationally from that era. We have customers all around the country that love the Chiefs things from the 1960s. Now, what are the hardest items for you and other people to sell? Well, things from the 1980s are very, very difficult in the 1990s. You know, what happened is it's, it's kind of a paradox. You That's know, people, retro, not vintage, right? <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. But well, people say, well, my mom threw out all my baseball cards. The problem is starting around 1980, mom didn't throw out the baseball cards. So therefore, they're not really worth anything. The ones where they're, they're limited are much more valuable. Now, what is the most collected team next to the New York Yankees when it comes to baseball? Believe it or not, by far, the St. Louis Cardinals. Really? Yeah. I would have never guessed that. Okay, so if you had to name, like, one or two items that are absolutely cherish prized possessions that you'd want of your own or, you know, that you'd want to get into this mix, what would it be? Well, of course, a really, really nice Babe Ruth signed baseball. You can never go wrong with that single signed by him. <laughs> you know, that's always great. Anything from Ty Cobb or, you know, a Mickey Mantle rookie card is always good. Everything from cards to letters to souvenirs, you've got it all, my friends. So the Kansas City All Sport Road Show is tomorrow from 9 to 5 and Sunday from 9 to 4 at the Holiday Inn, Coco Key Water Resort. That is across from Kauffman Stadium. Thank you, my friend. Good stuff. Oh, thank you so yes, much. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming on board.